Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome to Space Engineers. Now, today I am not here to show you the endless void of space. I am here to show you my ugly mobile shipyard. Before I continue, I need I cannot stress enough, this was the first ship I ever built. And this was in May of 2014, so 10 months ago. And 9... Whatever, don't... Yeah. But anyway, and because of that, yeah, she's going to look ugly, but as you will see in a lot of my ships, it's uh, purpose or functionality over aesthetics, and to me, this thing gets the job done, and to me, that's all that matters. I don't care if she looks butt ugly, but here she is. Okay, before we give the grand tour, um... I uploaded this previously, but for some reason, when I tried to render it through my uh, editing program, it kind of cut the video to three minutes, and yeah. So I, I apologize for that. Uh, I will make sure that I don't delete the raw footage when the <laughs> recorder, if I cut anything out, but before I know that the video uploaded Properly. Anyway, so with that said, now the inspiration for a mobile shipyard to me is because if you, we look at this asteroid right here, when you strip that of all of the materials from the stone all the way to the uranium and iron, you name it, when you strip that asteroid of all the materials, I did not mean to do that, but for roleplay sake, you have strip mined the asteroid, and all the materials are now in your base. Well, now what? Do you fly dozens of kilometers to the next asteroid? No, you move base. QED, this ship does just that. And say you're building something on the back of it at the same time. You don't want to fly 20 plus minute missions going out to get the materials and having to travel farther and farther. To me, in space, and this current version of Space Engineers, you want to be a mobile fleet. I mean, stations are useful, but when you start exhausting materials close to your base, you're not going to want or have the patience to keep flying out to get the materials. So, ergo, you do this. You build a mobile shipyard, and in this case, yeah, this will do its job in spades. So, the idea is, basically, I'll show you up here. You move your ship underneath an asteroid, and the ore collector up here, well, <laughs> in air quotes, it, it's really not an ore collector so much, actually it is. But anyway, so as ships or players mine, the ore, the loose ores get pulled into the collector here, and they'll go towards either cargo containers or refineries, depending on what um, what's already full. Like if the refineries are full, the the ore will go towards cl uh, the uh, cargo containers. Yeah. Okay, I can't. There we go. And uh, this ship is built out of vanilla. If you look at my G menu, there are no mods in here. This is... Oh, right. This is all vanilla stuff. Now, before I didn't have, well, oxygen tanks for starters, or rounded blocks, which or slopes, which is what this is made of. I had to elongate the hull a bit just to make this thing work, and it actually increased refining capacities. But anyway, so right here is the hangar bay. I know it doesn't look like much, but again, when I first built this, we didn't have, uh, what are they? We didn't have the airtight hangar door, or I, th yeah, we had rotors, I think, but at the same time, there really wasn't a perp, no, we didn't have pistons, that's what. And so, I think, I don't know, it's been a long time, I'm still, I still can't believe, I can't believe I put large thrusters in here, but again, there wasn't thruster damage back then. 
Otherwise, this is a crude hangar. Yes, I will admit that. But again, this was my first ship. And I want to see how far my, in air quotes, skills have come. Even though, yep, yeah, <laughs> not the best piece of uh, work I've ever done. I think I put better pieces of, uh, sh uh, I put better ships in the toilet when I wake up. But anyway, and here obviously is the construction yard. Now the reason it's open like this is so that way if you really wanted to, you can build a ship, I don't know, like this and then build it like that and you're not if you did it like this, you're not limited in any way by the size of the ship that you want to build. So for all intents and purposes, you can build, well, another mobile shipyard, or you can build a giant battleship on the back of your ship. Or you can build, I don't know, two battle cru or not battle cruisers, eh. two cruisers or two destroyers or or you could just dedicate this whole thing to fighters and have dozens of people building the same fighter. Who knows? Otherwise, uh, if we fly down here... Now, I will say that the gun emplacements are all Gatling turrets. And while it may look like it's armed to the teeth, really, this thing, the defense system is really meant to ward off those lone pirate wolves that may think... Oh, an easy score. When in fact, it's not going to be that easy. And the other function for the turrets is the meteor. Uh, def it's a meteor defense system. Because if um, you ever build on a server that has meteors enabled, y yeah, you might not want to have holes get put into your ship. So, that's why that is. And I forget to color this and I'll do I'll do the touch up work uh, off camera when I before I upload this onto the Steam Workshop. Anywho, moving forward. Got connectors off to the sides and up top just in case you either your ship pilot you need to reload uh, your cargo pods or cargo bays or cargo containers. I I haven't had my caffeine yet. So if you need to restock your ship full of materials, or if you're just a player who's experimenting with a new design and you're not sure if you want to keep something, you just do it by hand. Because when in doubt, hand uh, tools are a lot better than using a ship. Because that way you... Mm, at least to me. I, I know that's just my opinion, but... Alright, moving forward. Alright, we fly in. Uh, pff, yep, not much to see in here, other than uh, connectors placed at various points, like up here, just in case you have a bigger ship that otherwise won't fit. Anyway, if we come in here, close this. As you can see, this is solely dedicated to cargo. Because of the functionality being that you, you never know if you're going to find another asteroid or, or if you're going to get there in time. You don't want to run out of materials. So I put a bigger emphasis on cargo storage than anything else. And because this is exposed to the elements, you can see here, there's no oxygen. Which, I can't, well, dang. I never expected oxygen when I first built this thing. Otherwise, but I will admit though. I did have this airlock system more for people to role play having oxygen than actually having it to begin with because I never expected oh to be able to take off my helmet otherwise we got inconspicuously placed air vents right there like I said they didn't have this out when I first built this so yes this thing is hideous and all that and I didn't put lights in here because really I didn't feel like putting lights in here so I'll just turn on my uh, suit lights but as you can see this thing is dedicated 
to refineries. And uh, we got some arc furnaces up here along with all the assemblers right up there. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much all this room is. All right, we'll leave this open since both sides are pressurized. Um, the reason this is open and in future designs I may uh, forego doing just vanilla because vanilla doesn't have, I don't know, work desks, uh, beds of all things, or a mess hall. So this area would be dedicated to civilian amenities like a mess hall, crew, barracks, I mean, you name it. Whatever would be civilian would be right here. Okay, going up this little makeshift elevator, we have the central bridge. Now, again, I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm limited in vanilla and I wanted to keep to my origins, so to speak. And I just realized I botched this up already. So, on either side, again, this would be civilian stuff. So, basically, what you would have is this would be probably the captain's and or the first officer's quarters. Followed by the other officer quarters. And so on. Whereas the regular foot soldier... Uh, this isn't a military transport. I thought I had better lighting. Again! I removed half of my lighting just trying to put in this uh, here skylight. I may remove that. Actually, before I upload this onto the Steam Workshop, I'll take in uh, input on how I can improve this. I'm not improving the hull. That'll be a future uh, mobile shipyard. Otherwise, this is called the Phoenix Class Mobile Shipyard because, well, this also do doubles as a scrapping yard. Basically, merge block whatever you're trying to scrap to the ship it's itself and just start grinding. That way, it doesn't start drifting off into space. Otherwise, as you can see, no mass. That is because I forgot to turn it to a ship. Otherwise, as you can see, it is a heavy little big ship <laughs> which I know that doesn't make sense but whoops ah crap sorry sorry there we go I minimized the window by doing alt tab anyway as you can see this thing is not maneuverable <laughs> I want it again it it's designed to move just not very well so it, when you're aiming towards an asteroid make sure you're aiming to the side or above or don't go directly towards it otherwise you as you can see you're gonna have somewhat of a hard time all right inertia dampeners off I want to demonstrate how ships would get launched so we got the immer uh, inertia dampeners off I'm gonna quickly run out run out to the construction area close that and quickly I don't know why I closed this since I realized that the thrusters right there were preventing uh, that area from being pressurized okay so here we have our ship I know it doesn't look like much but I wanted to give a little demonstration on how you guys could launch a ship from this mobile shipyard so basically you'd have crewmen basically cutting these supports off of the ship in question and do that I forget to install a power there we go okay I need to quickly throw down a little flight seat turn inertia dampeners on now it, of the design changes I would probably make this all out of heavy armor just cuz being a construction zone it might get damaged but at the same time weight was kind of an issue back then cuz the heavier the ship the oh god the lag but again I might change that if you guys want that otherwise as you can see it worked beautifully 
I thought it was still moving. Anyway, so that is how you would launch ships. Now, as a general tip, I would say don't rely on one support. And what I mean by that is if you're building a ship like this, don't have it built off of this one support because if an enemy faction or a pirate wants to capture your the ship that you're building because they know they can't take on your ship they may just go for the strut here and well as a ship there's no putting it back and now you have a giant floating either ship or hulk just flying off in the space so really what you want to do is have multiple support beams connecting it to the mobile shipyard. Otherwise, solar panels on top for limited renewable energy. There are two large reactors. Um, oh yeah, and batteries, because, well, after batteries came out, all my ships now will have a battery pack somewhere. Or 20 or more. But, anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, she's not beautiful, but... Hey, she gets the job done, and that's all that matters to me. And, uh, like I said, I do take constructive criticism, depending on how well I take it. <laughs> that's another story, but if there's something overall that I can improve, let me know. And uh, Otherwise, down below in the description will be a link to the Steam Workshop to where you guys can get this ugly, beautiful work. Again, I went for functionality, not aesthetics. I can't design... Well, I guess I could, but... Not as quickly as I'd like, but... <laughs> so, also, uh, if there are other ships that you want me to build, let me know too. And also, I did receive a message from one of you guys asking if I could do a little spotlight on your ship. Yeah, I'll do it. If there's a ship you want to show me, add me on... Uh, uh, oh crap, I just said it. Oh yeah, add me on the on Steam, or go to the uh, Steam group, which is also down below in the description, and post there saying, Hey, you want to review my ship and put in a spotlight? I'll do it. Just be warned. Uh, if you do uh, want a ship to go online, just be warned if it's a replica of a ship in, say, Star Trek, Star Wars, Halo... There will be those detractors that just rip into anything wrong with it. So just be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.